Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning, and I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. Today we taste the Balmenach Connoisseur's Choice single malt whiskey from the independent bottler Gronen and MacPhail. It is uh, filled into the bottle with 46 ABV and it's uh, unchill filtered and non colored. So one of the whiskies I prefer most. Balmanach is a distillery in the Speyside, in the very west of the Speyside. Uh, when you come up uh, over Dalwini up to Aviemore and then you turn right uh, and head for Granton on Spey, uh, then you see the Balmanach distillery on the left hand side. Uh, this whiskey is from the year 2004. It was bottled in 2012. And uh, let's see what's on the back of the label. Gordon McPhail, the independent bottler, uh, with the new bottlings, <clears throat> they all always say something about the distillery and the particular whiskey on the back label. Balmanach Distillery. Balmanach lies beyond Granton on Spey in the Hawks of Cromdale. The distillery was one of the first to become legitimate after the Licensing Act of 1823. Yes, the <clears throat> distilling was prohibited in the Highlands uh, and uh, whiskey was only allowed to be produced in the Lowlands. Ooh, what a shame! And in 1823 in 1824 uh, a lot of distilleries became legal, they had to buy a license, it was all about taxes as today, you know. <clears throat> this particular expression from Balmanach distillery was matured in refill sherry hawks heads. So we have refabricated small casks with a volume approximately 250 liters uh, and in those casks lay before uh, sherry and those uh, casks were reused so we had the first filling with sherry the second filling with whiskey and then a refill with whiskey and this is the result from this second filling with the whiskey the whiskey is light and fresh with hints of any seed cream soda and freshly cut grass on the plate, sweet and fruity, with ripe bananas, a subtle nutty edge, and a smooth buttery finish. Natural color, non-chill filtered. Hmm. The Connoisseur's Choice series of Gordon MacPhail is quite old. It was established in the 1960s. And from that time on, uh, the, the bottle was increased uh, yeah, in value. Say they got more ABV instead of 40%, they increased to 43 and then 46. And then uh, they stopped coloring, uh, they stopped chill filtering. Now they have a cork in it. and. Uh, quality increased, increased, increased. <clears throat> and this is not a single cask bottling, no. This is a mixture of several casks from Balmerich, all from the year 2004. Um, and the mixing vat at uh, Garden McPhail uh, has a size which carries up to eight casks. And this uh, Balmenach, which is not one of the uh, high-selling single malt whiskies from Gordon McPhail um, may be bottled in smaller quantities, so perhaps four cask, five cask, whatever. <sighs> Light and fresh and an extreme anise. <sighs> Aroma, which is very, yeah, taking control of your nose, it's cold and fresh. And there, <laughs> there's the lawnmower, Ooh, and you can 
can smell the fresh cut grass. In the back there's very, very little vanilla. Ah, not much, no. If your nose becomes accustomed to the anise, then you become more, you get more. Vanilla and fruitiness. Yeah. But the anise seed is very much in the front. spiciness. The hawk's heads deliver an oakiness, spiciness, together with the sweetness. Um, the sweetness and the spiciness, they take over and, and push the anise seed in the back. It's no longer there. Perhaps a few nuts, hazelnut, walnut. And there's told that there is a taste of banana in it. I'm not able to taste that. And there's a oiliness, buttery, very smooth on the side of your mouth. And sweetness resides. Fruitiness is getting stronger. Yeah, I like this very much. And uh, this is the successor to a bottle from 1999, so they needed five years to sell the predecessor bottle. And this bottle will stay quite long on the shelves. Okay, single malt whiskies are going up like this. So perhaps three years and then we see another bottle on the shelves. So we write the year 2014. Uh, the 2012 is just arriving in the shelves and we'll see how long it will stay there. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.